you saw, Khalif Abu Bakr sent Khalif Umar to go to the house of Imam Ali where Fatima to Zahra was to start asking for first allegiance from them. Khalif Umar, after reaching the house of Fatima to Zahra salam, where she was and Imam Ali plus their children and a few companions, Khalif Umar said, if you don't give us first allegiance, we shall fire, we shall burn your house. You understand? Remember we said only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses for mankind, as we saw. And we saw that Prophet left a will, Quran and his pure lineage, making Imam Ali to be the first successor. These Sahabas defied the Prophet's will. Reaching to any extent of going to the daughter of Prophet's house, you understand? To Prophet's daughter's house and he burnt it. When they burnt it, Khalif Umar never stopped there, but he hit the door of Fatima to Zahra, which injured her. She was pregnant, and the key to be born was called Mohsen. Khalif Umar hit the door, which made her, you understand, to get miscarriage, and ended up breaking her ribs, causing her martyrdom. My respected brothers and his and his sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it clear. Narrate history so that we can contemplate. Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam in many books reported by our mom Aisha in Sahih Muslim, Sahih Bukhari and other traditions and other books. We see some of the traditions. Fatima living a will. Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam is commanding her husband to bury her, you understand, at night. And Imam Ali should not even cause awareness to the people who corrupted her by killing her. She's living this will as you see it on the screen. The question says, if we say that some Sahabas were great friends to Prophet, why Fatima to Zahra is telling her husband to bury her at night and not even to tell these Sahabas who killed her? Why? Therefore, my brother and sister, this is how the daughter of Prophet passed away. They never only took, changed the will of Prophet, but they also murdered her. By breaking her ribs, making her to get miscarriage, and causing anger to her. Remember in Sahih Bukhara and Muslim, a famous tradition says, Fatima to build at me, man adaha faqad adhani, up to the end of it. Fatima is part of me, whoever annoys her annoys me. And however annoys me, prophet annoys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why we also find a verse in the Holy Quran, in, in Surat Al-Ahzab, verse number 57. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, Inna al-lazina yu'udhuna Allah wa rasoola, la'anahum Allah fi dunya wa li-akhira, wa ngadda lahum azaba ni muhina. Whoever knows prophet, Whoever knows Allah and the Prophet is cursed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah has promised him severe punishment. That's how Fatima to Zahra passed away. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase our knowledge, make us people who ponder on history. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.